and good morning everyone. I hope that everyone's had a great morning so far, but today I'm going to be talking about caliper covers and how they affect your braking. Now the only reason I'm actually making this video is because I got asked by two separate people, you know, does it actually affect your braking or anything like that? Um, you know, how they've heard how it does. And actually, one guy, when I was getting new tires on this car, um, I was telling him how I had caliper covers on the way. He said I should rethink it because on his truck, um, he had like a Silverado or something like that. And it was a Silverado with a Duramax. And when and he was going to go stop he had to stop pretty quick he says his brakes got all spongy and you know it was he stopped but he said it was close now for those of you who don't know caliper covers what they are is basically a plate that has any kind of design or anything on it that goes directly over your calipers uh, they're held by two different clips that go on the sides of the actual calipers and it holds it in place and for the subscribers that's actually been here for a while you know that i actually used to have caliper covers on my car until earlier this year i actually just painted my calipers red and took those off and the reason i took it off wasn't anything to do with you know people saying how they look bad or anything and that's one thing uh in person people will say that they love your caliper covers. Probably the most complimented thing um, on either of my cars, my 2005 V6 Mustang or this car, but people, they would always say how they love my red brakes. Um, the only hate I ever got for it was actually on YouTube. Whenever I posted my 2012 Mustang GT review, people were just saying, oh, I hate those fake calipers. You know, you shouldn't be trying to, you know, fake that you have big brakes, which I wasn't trying to fake that big, big brakes. I just liked the look of it. And the reason I took those caliper covers off was because the one of the clips that held the caliper cover to the actual caliper, I guess it got a little loose and it was touching the rotor and it was just making a really crazy loud noise. Um, and at that point I was actually already planning on painting my calipers either yellow or red and I just went ahead and just took them off, painted them red and they're actually in my house right now. But to the main point of this video, you know, did they actually affect my braking at all on this car or my 2005 Mustang? Um, and the answer is no, they didn't at all for me. Um, and I was even, I even tested them as soon as I put them on. I was going quick. I tried to make, you know, 60 stops, you know, going 60 miles an hour, stopping as quick as you can. My brakes didn't get spongy at all. Um, I'm assuming that guy at the tire shop, he was just saying, you know, that he had his problems because, you know, he had a Duramax, a way heavier truck. So, I mean, that could possibly be why he had problems because, you know, the, those calipers, they get hot. And having a caliper cover on there is pretty much not going to allow that heat to escape. So, if you have a bad braking system, it could affect your braking. Now, I do have drilled and slotted rotors on this car, uh, but when I installed the caliper covers on my V6 Mustang, I didn't have drilled and slotted rotors, so that's not going to be an issue right there. So, if you are driving a car and you're considering getting caliper covers, I'm just say go ahead and get them because, for one, people really like them in person, and for two, they don't affect your braking. For me, I had those caliper covers on for, I had them on my V6 Mustang. I had them on my V6 Mustang for over a year, probably like a year and a half. And I had them on this car right here for right at a year and never had any problems as far as braking. And you know, I had to have some quick stops too. And one other thing before the end of this video, um, like I said in the last two videos, I'm gonna be going to the Memorial City Cars and Coffee this Saturday. A lot of cool car makers, they're gonna be out there. Um, I know that Bugatti, they're supposed to be out there, which I've never seen a Bugatti in person, so that's gonna be really cool actually seeing one in person. Uh, Hennessy, they might be out there. Lamborghini might be out there. A lot of the big, you know, exotic car makers, they should be going. Plus on top of that, there's gonna be a lot of different cool cars out there. I'm sure I'm gonna see a lot of McLarens, Lamborghinis, Ferraris. But like I said, it's a toy drive. Um, it's gonna be for kids who haven't been as fortunate as a lot of us has been. So, you know, bring some toys if you wanna go out there. Um, and that's one other thing. I am try trying to get a couple people together, right out there together. Um, I'm gonna be going out there with my buddy Wesley and try to get, you know, as many people as I can to go out there. Um, if you wanna meet up, just comment down, down below, and maybe we'll meet up together and ride out there together. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.